you see that I've written down their quadratic number pattern. I wanted to put this on a slide because this is so popular in the paper and we know that this is number patterns. And I have an example there and I promise you when I put down this example on this piece of paper this afternoon, I know you know what I'm talking about. I know that you can get five marks here. I took the example three, as you can see on the slide, 10, 21, and 36. Now they ask you, find the next two terms. Now you're thinking, okay, I'm first gonna check if my first difference is the same. Between 10 and three is seven, 10 and 21 is 11, and 21 and 36 is 15. Now you check, okay, this is my first difference. So it cannot be an AP. It cannot be an AP because your first difference is not the same. So now you don't give up, you go on and you check, okay, what is my difference now? Seven and 11 is four, 11 and 15 is four. What do you see? You see that your second differences, remember this is my second difference, my second differences are the same. If your second differences are the same, you immediately write down the formula Tn equals An squared plus Bn plus C. Why am I emphasizing this slide? Grade 12, this formula is not on your formula sheet. If you don't know this formula, you can just say goodbye to five or six marks in your exam. We cannot afford that. So you checked your first differences, you saw it was not the same. You checked your second differences, you saw it's the same. You saw that it is four and you immediately wrote down TN is AN squared plus BN plus C. Now your teachers explain to you how to get the A the B and the C. So I don't want to confuse you this afternoon. We also did it on telematics. Just quickly, if for those who forgot, remember A is the second difference divided by two. A is the second difference divided by two. C is term number zero. You all know and have different ways of working out B. And that is your number patterns, your APs and your GPs.